And good evening, I'm Mike Brooks. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works For You. There are new ways to fight fraud at the Oklahoma Employment Security Commission with a 100,000 phony claims so far. This new beta test will help fight bogus claims. The OESC says Oklahomans will have to submit a picture ID and a selfie within a certain amount of time when they submit an unemployment claim. Governor Kevin Stitt toured an Oklahoma school today after it safely reopened for in-person learning. He went to Hennessy Public Schools and greeted a class via video conference. The governor then went on to Enid to meet with business owners who received help through the CARES Act. And today, Bixby Public Schools held a ribbon cutting for West Elementary and Intermediate School. The 155,000 square foot campus has safety aspects like entry vestibules and gymnasiums, which double as storm shelters. They also have 42 classrooms along with separate music, art and media rooms. Bixby Public Schools starts August 17th. Impact Tulsa and the city are leading a collaborative space for business leaders ahead of the school year. This morning, Impact Tulsa hosted a virtual collaboration call for business leaders to discuss how they might support the community and their employees as schools reopen or move to virtual learning. This effort is a three part series. Today's meeting was to lay the foundation. The next two will be to find solutions and then chart the course of the next steps. Here's a look at your extended forecast right there. We have a hot weekend coming up ahead of us. Chance of rain coming into play Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And then it's a repeat for next weekend with temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. That's a look at some of the uh, stories making headlines today. Stay with Two Works For You for updates throughout the day. We certainly appreciate you watching this right here. And we'll see you again very, very soon. So thanks again for watching.